What's happened everybody? This is Hayden Adams with a designer who codes. I have a problem with this design. It's way too much in black and white. What I want to accomplish is I want to turn these bullet points from black into red. Now by default, what I have here in this HTML is I really use all my bootstrap documents. I added a custom CSS file and I have a base looking ULLI unordered list. It looks great, but by default, I can't just write some code in CSS and say, turn bullet to red. That'd be awesome. We gotta write a little bit more. So what I first have to do is I have to get rid of the existing bullets. I'm gonna say UL in this design. Maybe I'll find the right keyboard controls and say list style is going to be none. That's gonna essentially remove the bullet points from it. Now again, I need to bring them back. So what I have to do next is I have to create a pseudo class. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say UL LI double colon and say before. That's gonna go before the text or the bullet points are gonna be right here on the left hand side. We first have to enter in some content. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can just type in a bullet point with this, the option eight key and there go the bullet points. And if you wanna go extra cool, you can also say backslash 2022, that also happens to be the CSS code or the Unicode for a bullet. I'm just gonna add the bullet for right now, but I'll also say also can use slash backslash 2022 if you want to. In fact, let me just write it down here. I will do that and I'll bring it right back up here. So perfect, we have our content. The next is I actually wanna add the color red. So I'm gonna say color. In this case, we're just gonna make it really red. And you know what? That's not gonna work because it's gonna create a hassle. So you know what I'm gonna do? Just ignore that for right now. Oh, I see what I did wrong. <laughs> um, wait a second, let's actually close. There we go, the CSS file. My little note got in the way of the semicolon. So what I have now is the content and the red section inside these bullet points. Now they're looking pretty good, but they're a little too close to the text right here. It's also to me that this is a little thin when it comes to the weight or the heftiness of that bullet point. I wanna make that bold. So I'm gonna say font weight in here, and I can either say 700 for bold or just say bold. This case, I'll make it bold. If you want to even go like crazier, you can go 900 and go massive bullet. It's up to you how you want to accomplish that. But for my design, bold or 700 is the number I'm looking for in here. You can play with that weight however you like. After this, we're going to say a couple things. We have to add some space. So we're going to say display and we'll say inline block. Just give us some room to work with. This allows us to move the bullet points after the fact. So right now it didn't do anything. But the next thing I wanna do is, I wanna give this a width of one EM. And that'll give us some space next to the bullet point right here. And just to also help the margin space, I'm gonna say margin left and say negative one EM. Now again, this might be too close or too far, so you might wanna go negative two and bring it all the way back, or you could just leave it off and say, I wanna go that far. This is where you get to customize the look of it when it comes to the space. To me, I usually keep the width and the margin left pretty much the same to bring it back. And if we do a before and after comparison, let's take this out. You'll notice how it stays in pretty much the same spot from the black to the red. Unfortunately, because there is no CSS to change the bullet point, it requires a removal and a replace inside the CSS file.